We've got a very simple and inexpensive job today that's going to improve the handling of our 280ZX. We're going to replace the rear sway bar or stabilizer bar bushings, the uh, ones here. As you can see right in here, are they look like they're the original rubber bushings from the car, which are probably a, close to 40 years old now. We're going to replace them with some energy suspension polyurethane bushings. Uh, here, these come with the uh, grease and everything to lubricate the bar and they're polyurethane so they should not break down the way these rubber ones did. I've got the back of the car up here on ramps. I'm just going to slide in from the back to get at those brackets to take them off. We're underneath the car here and you can see I've already mostly taken one of these bolts off. This thing on the top here that looks like a nut is actually welded to this part of the uh, other part of the frame here. So you don't need to secure that with any type of wrench. All you need is the 12 inch socket to get at this bolt right here. You don't have to hold that thing in place. It doesn't move. We've gotten the brackets off and I just took the bushings out over here so you can see them a little bit better. The top ones are the old ones. These are the new ones. These are these original rubber ones. You can see uh, how kind of like squishy and mushy they are. And then these polyurethane ones, of course, are barely going to give uh, when we press on them. Uh, in case you didn't know, there's a cut already in all of them. This lets you just slip it around the stabilizer bar without having to remove the bar. So if you were worried about how are you going to get these off? You might not be able to notice that little cut when it's installed in the car if you're just looking at it. But that's how we just kind of slip these off over and we're going to put these on in, instead. The reason soft worn bushings need to be replaced is because the sway bar is not supposed to move up and down side to side inside where it's mounted. And if the rubber is soft and worn, there's going to be some play there which is going to affect your handling. The polyurethane bushings won't allow that play, but it the bar will kind of rotate back and forth inside the bushing. It's supposed to do that, and for polyurethane that can be noisy, so you get some little grease packet with these bushings that we're going to rub on the inside of this bushing before we slip it around the stabilizer bar. That'll keep it from squeaking, making noise, and also you know, create a very low friction surface for the the bar to rotate back and forth, which is what it needs to do to do its job. Just a little tip, wear gloves when you put this grease on because it's kind of messy. And this is one of those things that you can do just at a table. You don't need to be underneath the car to do this. So uh, I prefer to do whatever I can without being underneath the car just to save me a little bit of straining and backache and twisting and turning. So just take them out to a comfortable place. Grease up the bushings on the inside, then go back out to your car and we'll reinstall them. So we're just going to put the new bushings now that they've been greased up right where the old ones were. It's pretty obvious in this car, which is pretty old, where the bushing was. Just make sure that this area is clean and you don't have a lot of rust or scale build up there because you, the, you want the sway bar to rotate nicely inside there. The new bushings are now on the sway bar. That uh, was probably just the most physically difficult part is just kind of spreading open the new polyurethane bushing, which is much stiffer than rubber, just to get around the 20 millimeter diameter of the bar. And now all we do is put the brackets back on and screw it back in place. When you put the bushing on the car, before you put the bracket on, just note that on one corner of the bushing, there's like a notch. And you'll see that on your bracket, there's also a notch just on one end. So you'll see that when they line up, you want to just make sure that that notch matches. On the rear uh, bushings of the 280ZX, that notch should point down towards the floor and out towards the back of the car. One final installation note. This is a good rule of thumb whenever you have lots of multiple bolts uh, that you're dealing with. Here we have two bolts on one side, two bolts on the other side. We're putting them back in. Before you tighten down any one bolt, just make sure that all of your bolts are properly inserted and threaded and turning nicely before you tighten anything down. Otherwise, you might end up with a situation where it's hard to adjust one and you might get cross-threaded. So just make sure they're all in nicely. Then once they're all in, then 
uh, go around and, and tighten them all down. And that's what we're going to do next. And then we will be done. All right. The new bushings are in. Brackets are tightened down. You can see that grease is kind of oozing out around the edge, which is what it's supposed to do right now to show that there's plenty in there. And hopefully this makes a difference. Maybe I won't notice anything, but it makes me feel better either way.